what's up y'all welcome back to the channel today um not only are we trying a new intro we're trying the most forgotten about track or supercross track and mx bikes i think that's going to be the title of this one but yeah i just don't see a lot of people mention it anymore or refer to it or anything about this track this track has been uh been really fun to me to play for me at least it's uh, always been one that's fun to go back to and enjoy uh, if you guys know what I'm saying like a lot of tracks you know you can go back and enjoy them but this one I mean you kind of just don't have to relearn it every time but you do have to kind of get that flow established every time you do it which makes it a lot more fun but going inside trying to clear over that you kind of just have to re-establish a flow that you uh you try to get every single time you ride this track and it doesn't come to you every time you ride this track i assure you since i'm recording i will not get a flow i will keep crashing at least once or twice every lap and uh these whoops were some of my favorite because i can actually do them on like my friends but i'm sure now that they're i mean i'm sure now that they'll be fine like they're, they're just okay whoops you know Nothing too special. And first lap around is a 1 minute 8 seconds. Not too shabby. Uh, obviously have the crash in there, but... You know, who cares? Uh, so I chip a tough block there. <laughs> um, yeah, what to talk about? Well, uh, I do talk about this every single video, but I do want to thank you guys for the amount of support on the channel. Uh, Obviously, I'm gone right now. This is a pre-recorded video from forever ago, you know. It's going to seem like forever. This one will probably be the last one uploaded before I'm back. And so next video you see from me, I hopefully, probably will be back. And, uh, yeah, so I've been gone nine days and uh, nine or ten days, maybe even less, maybe more. I don't know. But, yeah, back now. Uh, after this video so hopefully you guys are excited about that because i know i am uh, i'll be home pretty soon after this is uploaded probably so just uh fun to think about it but yeah i don't know something you guys should know be cool and uh, i'm sure i'm still getting a little bit of support on the youtube channel you know not quite uploading every single day but something like that with uh, every other day kind of stagger the uploads a little bit and uh, make sure that they're kind of you know just kind of hanging out uh, the uploads uh, aren't anything like too too special uh, these last four or five uh, but just something to to get it through to get me through till uh, I do get home as we will have to go double right there and my back wheel caught something I don't even know what but yeah a little rough a little bit more on the rougher side there that that jump is that rhythm actually whole rhythm could be a little bit ruthless sometimes as we can't even get that so like I said I don't think I'll be able to establish a flow here considering I'm recording normally trying to focus on my words a little bit more than the writing is what I think leads to a lot of it so yeah, I do appreciate, uh, also, I do appreciate the, uh, constant subscriber gain, I guess. I don't know if that's still going on with me uploading every other video, but I hope it is, and I, uh, don't expect it to go down much, but definitely expect it to go down. But, yeah, it does mean a lot, and by the end of the year, I think we're reaching for, I don't know, it'll be close to, like, 700, I, I'd bet. I mean, if... I keep doing well about it but yeah if I mean if we seriously keep grinding or if I seriously keep grinding and you guys consistently watch the videos then yeah there's a way that I can get up to even a thousand before December but a lot of things would have to go my way or before uh, before the end of the year so yeah I don't know I don't know we'll see where it goes I'm not really aiming for anything other than 500 by the end of the year which i think would be pretty I'm not gonna say easy but uh be pretty uh standard goal to go for i could say but i think i just matched my best lap ever on this track i got a 104 before 
But, oh yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> There's places I know I can chop time out. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, kind of just enjoying the track right now. Uh, if you guys want to go get it yourselves, if you guys haven't ridden it yet or want to, uh, kind of in a supercross groove right now for me, and uh, we'll see how good I am after coming back to the game for a little bit, because <laughs> it's probably going to be uh, not bad, but not great. I'm sure I'll be uh, down a few, few steps from when I've left, so we'll see um, how good I am when I come back and all the videos after this one, it's probably going to be a learning process, because the only time I really play bikes anymore is with uh, friends every here and there, and uh, by myself if I'm bored, or to record videos, so, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, it's not rough exactly, but I guess not the word I'd use, but relearning bikes after being gone for a while can be tough. Uh, obviously you get a better feel for it after you've uh, been gone a while and uh, come back after having a thousand hours on the game uh, I think that could help a little bit but yeah I don't know other than that it's kind of like you know it's just hard to it's a hard game to come back and just be as good as you left it especially after nine days we'll try to stretch that triple out we got it but Tough Blocks said no. So, gotta listen to the Tough Blocks. They seem to be in charge. We'll go outside here, actually. Square up this corner. Try to go outside. Didn't quite do that. I remember uh, this track I thought I was super fast on because I had a 107. And I went into a public lobby and got smoked. <laughs> it's so funny. But, yeah, we've learned a lot since then. And worked a lot since then. And recorded a lot since then and uh, i'm a grown man now so i know i'm not the best in the world you know huh not nearly so you know still trying to figure out and i think the plan is to race uh supercross professionally in game for the first time this season if it's free i'm sure it might not be but a lot of people don't think so so uh, if it's free, I think that's the plan, and if it's not free, well, I don't know. I might cave, but I don't know if I'll ride it or not. But I'll definitely do videos on them, because I like my Supercross, and this uh, batch of tracks that comes out are hopefully going to be good. And we saw a little glimpse of what Stone Rider Supercross tracks are going to look like on Aerial Round 12, which is uh, quite awesome. And uh, nice of him to, to put a Supercross track on that one as well. But, yeah, so, I mean, this track alone has been uh, one of the most forgotten about, by me as well. I've also forgotten a little bit about this track. I don't really come back and play it all too often anymore, but when it first came out, wrote it a lot. And uh, I've just forgotten about it since then. I haven't seen anybody do anything on it. I don't see many public lobbies on it. I don't see much at all uh, of anything on it, really, so... What it really all comes down to is it's forgotten and I'll, I'm going to keep my my story straight. I'm going to keep it as forgotten that way I can just title the video like this. I don't care if you guys say I play it every day. Like, I don't care. It's still forgotten in most people's minds. We had a good run through the whoops right there. Try to keep that back when we wheel down of ours. Try to go fast here and I ruined our fast lap. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I never say anything uh, like that. Like, normally whenever I say something like, gonna go fast here, I just die and crash anyway, so I just don't even think to say it anymore, so whenever I do say it, just ironically, you know, go down and uh, eat some dirt. But this track has two whoop sections that are pretty difficult. Both of them can be very tough and uh, I remember when they first came out there's super hard to hit with the default tires but these tires seem to be helping a little bit along with uh, a little bit more experience and uh and whoops especially recently like I said I'm kind of in a super cross groove right now I also can't wait for the 2023 AMA season to kick off that'll be fun oh boy 
And yeah, I'm just excited to see uh, the season again. That'd be awesome. I know a lot of people are uh, looking at one of the highly anticipated seasons, uh, perhaps being Eli's last, Eli Tomac's last season. And I will make sure to do a lot of coverage on the real AMA uh, racing this year. I think on this channel we'll have a lot to talk about. So I think that that would be pretty cool as well to just do an AMA. Uh, just AMA talk on here, I guess. Uh, Supercross, motocross, super motocross, all that stuff. So. Yeah, just wait for when that comes out. I think once a week we'll do something about it. I don't know. I haven't got a lot planned yet for it, but I've got a lot of ideas that we can do. So i uh, going to kind of figure that out in my own mind as time goes along. And we'll try to make this inside line actually work to clear up and over, and we do. That can cut your lap time down a little bit uh, on a consistent basis with these new tires, but the old ones basically impossible so as we just get a little too caught up there on our front brake and uh, yeah if you guys do I haven't mentioned in the discord uh, if you guys do want to join the racing team to race pro supercross this uh, upcoming season uh, please do join the discord if you guys want to race for my team if you guys think you have what it takes uh, I'll ask you guys for some lap times and whatnot when you try to join so yeah if you guys want to learn more about that just join the discord it is linked down in the description the link will probably be expired actually now that i think about it so um i don't know ask me in the comments for it and i'll get you it if you're really interested but if not uh just you can wait on that and it'll be linked in one of my newer videos once i'm back so yeah, just trying to um, not crash as much. We'll go one lap. It's not going to be super fast, but I'm just going to try not to crash. It's not going to be like any heater or anything. I don't want it to be. I just want to do a lap where I don't crash. We are, you know, crashing. I don't normally enter. enter uh, whoops. I don't really do whoop entry on in third gear, so that can kind of mess me up. But it seems to be what works, so... Definitely something I've got to practice is third gear entry uh, with the whoops. And so that's something to work on um, once I get back, obviously, because I think this will be the last I play MX bikes for a little bit, especially for recording. Can we still get over this triple, this triple, and that triple? Somehow get over them all. We'll try to double in regardless. Triple on in. Can't quite get that. We're gonna cut this corner down. Try to stay to the left side of these whoops. And down we go again. Uh yeah, we'll go next time one more lap through and we'll try not to crash on it. I mean, it's gonna be a difficult it's proven to be a difficult task, but I mean just try not to, to crash on it after getting everything. We will try to enter the whoops a little differently. Here, I think I have an idea. Uh, yeah, that didn't go well, but uh, I did pick up on something new that I can do. Just a lot more uh, work for the fingers on the controller. We already aren't setting down any sort of burner, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Cut down, get that triple, get that triple, get this triple, and then we got to get this big one right here. Uh, we can't do that, so it didn't hit all the lines, so... I mean, that's what I'm saying is it's so hard once I already say what I'm going to do. Like, all right, go through, have a mistake-free lap. And it doesn't need to be fast. Like, something dumb will happen like that. So, I'm. Um, it's just, it's tough to be me, you know. It's really hard. But if you guys did, uh, stick around and enjoy the video. I do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like. It helps with the algorithm a little bit. And uh, if you guys aren't subscribed and want to subscribe completely free, go ahead. Please do, it uh, helps out a lot. You have no idea, we're aiming for about 500 by the time of the end of the year, so thank you guys for uh, watching. It uh, does mean a lot, especially if you watch to this point in the video. But I know my average view duration is a little bit down, you know? But yeah, thank you guys for watching, it does mean a lot. So I'll see you guys next time.